Good morning. Happy Thursday. Uh, I th this one's going to be a little bit short, shorter. Trying to make them a little bit shorter, although sometimes long is good. Uh, I am on TikTok, so I'm trying to make this TikTok worthy. Uh, if you'd like to uh, follow me over there as well. Uh, it's Ron's Choice on TikTok. This morning, I, I have a, a million thoughts. I could I could make videos all day long because the stuff that comes up that I think of. and uh, Again, my main premise is being happy, right? Feeling good. What do you want? What do you want out of life? That's why we're here. That there's there's no set rules of you come to life and you have to do this and you have to do that and you have to serve this you have to do this to get there that I, I just I personally don't believe there's any of that we're here to experience and to create but I you know people call it program well we've been programmed to do this depends on where you grew up right where you were born it's everything's programming. It's whether you allow yourself to be programmed. Uh, it's just like hypnosis. It, you know, some people say, well, you can't hypnotize me. Well, that that's true. If you, there are ways, and, and they, if, if you, I've studied some hypnosis because I've tried to have it done to me. Uh, you can set parameters in your subconscious to not accept that hypnotic programming so it's up to us uh I'm, I'm getting to where i don't look at the why as much anymore i mean it's just it's fun to debate sometimes but here's what brought me to to where i'm at this morning is and, and this is not this isn't new this isn't a new revelation or anything it, it's conspiracy theories now again i, I have to always say that uh, this is just Ron's choice. If you're into something and 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 it's working for you, then then that's the right thing. I'm not saying anything's right or wrong. I'm just saying what I hear a lot of people say, and what I try to do. We, we, certain people want certain things. They want money. They want a better job. They want to lose weight. They want to do this. They want to do that. But their actions don't reflect that. So, if that's the case, uh, I, I use the serenity prayer a lot. And it, it made me think of it. I said, you know, it, that needs to be tweaked a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> because a lot of times we find ourselves, which I do the same mm -hmm. thing, Thinking about and worrying about things that we can't control. And it's kind of a distraction. It's a... Uh, there's another word for it. I can't think of it right now. But we're, we're taking our... We're, we're our own enemy. We take ourselves off course. Because we see something that we think is important. Because it's important to other people. So we start talking about it. Things about the past. What the Rockefellers did. What the Carnegies did. And blah, blah, blah. Here's what I do. I look at, I wake up, I look around me. What is going on around me? Am I happy and satisfied with the way my house is? The way my yard is? The way my cars are? And then when I go outside of that. And, you know, before it used to be with the, with my spouse. Which, of course, I'd, I'd probably still be married if I'd had, if I'd had this the attitude back then. But I didn't. Uh, the... the, the I'll take blame where blame is due. Uh, <clears throat> I look at, uh, you know, my friendships, my relationships, my relationships with my parents, my, my brother, my, my cousins, m my friends, uh, the, how I feel about my work, you know, and I go beyond there and to the community. And because you have to start here first, right? Am I good here? Am I happy with what's, what's in the mirror? What can I do about it? Can I make that change today? No. Well, let's make a plan to make that change and then stop worrying about it. Stop bitching about 
my health or my weight or whatever. Put a plan in place and you go forward with it. And then I stopped worrying about what, who said, where said, and, and why, you know, well, because America, the food, and this and that and whatever. You, you have choices, right? Uh, so we find ourselves, because I think part of it is something that we're, we're going after, we have some kind of internal fear. Now, I posted a video yesterday about Sadhguru. I said this was going to be short. Now this is going longer than I expected. Uh, but uh, he talks about procrastination. Why you procrastinate. And it's because something that you don't want to do. Well, I enjoy doing this. But if it was just what we enjoyed doing, th there's always something more that comes with it. That's just like this green screen and everything. It, it took me 30 minutes this morning because I, I, I moved the rooms that it's in. And I had to do the video and then the green screen was it was off over here. Uh, uh, you know, and I had to make an adjustment. And that's no fun. It's like, damn it, I just want to sit down and make the video. But then I have to remind myself, it's just part of the journey. I have to look at the end result. Once that's done, then it's fixed. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore. So don't let that upset me. So anyway, here's uh, the, the the serenity prayer. And I, I use this all the time. Uh, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Okay. The, I tweaked it a little bit this morning. We'll see how this goes. God, life, source, universe, please give me the wisdom and the strength. Because I need the wisdom first. And the strength. It takes strength to accept things you can't change. <clears throat> now, that, I ha that, that comes with a caveat. Uh, that's the wisdom. Now, it's just not going to be given to you. You have to think about it a little bit. Can you change how someone thinks about you? Yes and no. Right? Conversation. Your actions. Maybe you did do something wrong. And you need to change. And you need to show them. But that's where, that's where you have to be aware. Because all the answers aren't given to you. God's not sitting up there saying, okay, boom. I'm going to give this to you. Okay, you. You got that. No, you're not getting this. It, it comes down to you. Freedom of choice, right? Freedom of will. So it, it takes strength and wisdom to know, okay, I, there's nothing I can do about this. The past, there's nothing you can do about the past. Especially when it goes way back to Rockefellers, like I said, Carnegie's and, and past presidents. And even like today, gas prices. You know, there's a debate. Why are the gas prices going up? Uh, whatever, right? They're going up. What can I do to change it? Nothing. In my opinion, where I sit, there's nothing I can do other than if I think that it's has something to do with government, then when it comes time to vote, I vote that way. That's that's all I feel I can do. You might think there's something else you can do, and that's your path. That's okay. I also ask that you give me the wisdom and strength and inspired action to change the things that I can control. So if you think you can change the gas prices, ask for the wisdom and the inspired action to take to do that. Or injustices or whatever. Whatever it may be. You need the wisdom and the strength and the action to change it. So this helps me a lot in a lot of situations because I have to decide. Can I change this? Can I not? Is it getting me to where I want to go? You know, if we spent, and I'm, and I'm looking at the people that are around me for the most part that I deal with, that I see, if we spend as much time on trying to fix our own situations, on what we're wanting to do, whether it's health, finances, relationships, as we do worrying about other people's 
health, finances, and relationships, whether it be past, why the medical industry is the way it is, can I do anything about it? Do I want to do anything about it? You know, those are questions you have to ask yourself. How much are you going to invest? How much time and energy are you going to invest in that? Or are you going to just take care of you? Are you going to take care of your people? And see, that's they, they say kindness, you can change the world one person at a time, right? Change with yourself. You make yourself right, looking in the mirror, bing, bing. Then if you have kids, you help them. And then it grows. It reverberates. It's like throwing a rock in a lake. And okay? That it, it's that's where true that's where I where I'm at where I want to make change here and then have that reverberate out and not everybody's gonna be one on board want to be on board with exactly your wanting to do but so anyway now I got to see if I can narrow this down to fit on TikTok and we're gonna leave it there uh, just the, the serenity spirit it's just you have to be able to decide do I need to worry about this or do I not. Where do I want to go? What do you want? That's what I asked one of my best friends all the time. What do you want? Then you have to ask yourself, is, is the, are these thoughts? I'm aware of my thoughts, feelings, and actions, expectations that lead me to inspired actions. Is this thought, is what I'm worried about, is this political shit that I'm watching on TV or, or debating on Facebook, is that helping me get to where I want to go? Check your results, Right? If you've been doing it for years and you're still feeling the same way, still arguing about the same shit, if you're happy with it, that's great. Uh, again, there's no right or wrong. If it makes you feel good to debate about what's going on in, in, in the political scene, then that's great. But if it's upsetting you and it's not getting you to where you want in your life, you're not, you don't wake up feeling happy and satisfied and your partner doesn't, then it's time to make a change. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. Or a little more specific. Please give me the wisdom and strength to accept the things I cannot change. Or control. I also go ask that you give me the wisdom, strength, and inspired action to change the things that I can control. I love you guys.